WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we've got a mixed bag out there. The mix goes like this. It's the NASDAQ and the semis that are trading lower. They're pulling the markets lower out there. That's not really what you want to see in bullish market conditions. But you have the Dow trading up 161 points, about a half percent, two-tenths for the S&P, or nine points, six-tenths for the Russell 2000. That's an 11-point move. Gold's trading up 12 bucks. That's trading out at 1965. Silver's up 32 cents, one and four-tenth percent move there. Lights recruit is off 13 pennies. Natural gas down 10 cents. And a 30-year treasury printed out at 118.22. That's up a half a point. Let's go take a look at what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. The upper left hand corner, we're going to see the ES mini. What do we have? We got a good old fashioned consolidation. And it's really the consolidation with inside the weekly profiles. That's between the levels of 4424 to the bottom. And actually, I only have the center of the uh, weekly profile. That's the resistance level. And that's up at the 4598 area. Now, yesterday, we had that spot volatility test and reject. That 50-day exponential moving average. It was doing that when we were on the air, or as really as we were going off the air out there. We can see that price rejected that level. Markets went ahead and took back some of those losses yesterday. The NQ, uh, it is trading. It has support. Perhaps it has support, I should say, really at the bottom of its weekly profile, 15,191. Price remains below the bottom of its daily profile. This could be four consecutive sessions below that. It really is suggesting lower price. The U.S. dollar index is pulling back. It has formed a new profile. It's really new, two new profile levels. We'll use the one here on the black background chart. Looks like the U.S. dollar index wants to make a test of the 104.35 level. 104.35 is the bottom of that daily profile. Close below that would likely indicate to you and I a change in trend. Goldilocks right now at 1101 is taking on resistance. That's the top of its daily profile at 1954.60. We're trading out at 1965. A close above 1954.60 should get us up towards the most recent swing point, and that would be up at the 1980.20 level. Well, close above that could trigger an A to B equals CD to the upside. Now, in the case of silver, it only has two profile areas. Both the center and bottom are at the same level at 2332. That should be strong support. If we take a look at resistance, that's at 2374. We're trading above it right now. We're trading out at 2380. A close above 2374 would suggest a further move higher. That further move higher should take us up in that descending trend line in the 25 area. Lights Week Crude, it's got a new profile. It's attempting to form as well. Resistance here up at 91.17. And natural gas, just a consolidation, as is with the 30 year Treasury bond with inside their respective profiles. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.